So if you're a part of the spiritual and or the fitness community on YouTube, there's a good chance that you've heard about Connor Murphy's recent descent into insanity that all started because of a trip he took a year back on the psychedelic brew ayahuasca. But if you don't know who Connor Murphy is, I'll give you a brief rundown. So basically, Connor Murphy is, or was, a bodybuilding YouTuber who has over 2 million subscribers. He created popular videos that included him showing off his physique in public, picking up girls, pranks, and other similar content. And it was generally interesting content for a lot of people. It was inspiring. He inspired millions of men around the world to better themselves and to start working out. I even remember in my high school days, I was inspired by Connor Murphy. But then everything changed about a year ago when Connor had a profound experience on the psychedelic substance ayahuasca and in me being a YouTuber who frequently talks about using psychedelics for healing and for personal and spiritual development, I just feel like it's my obligation to talk about Connor's situation in order to emphasize that psychedelics most definitely do have their dangers and they can be harmful for you if you're not in the right mindset, you're not grounded, or if you just use them in the wrong way. So before I talk about ayahuasca as a substance, let's go through what happened with Connor Murphy in the past year. So basically this whole thing started when Connor supposedly had a profound spiritual awakening on ayahuasca and this appeared to have put Connor into a not so sound state of mind. He put out a video where he suggested he was going to harm himself and he didn't do that luckily. He actually claimed he was acting when he put that video out. But then shortly afterwards, Connor was put into a psych ward for two weeks and was diagnosed with either drug-induced psychosis or bipolar disorder. Apparently the doctors could not decide which one it was. But after he got out of the psych ward, he seemed sane again. He seemed alright. He promised to never do ayahuasca again, and he talked about how he wanted to rebrand himself into a spirituality and self-help channel. And I've been following this whole situation from the very beginning. So when I first saw that Connor Murphy video where he was said he was going to start making more videos about spirituality, I was like, fuck yeah, a really famous dude with millions of followers is going to start making videos about spirituality. This is going to be great for, for the spiritual community. But as it played out, nothing great happened at all. And the whole situation only got worse from there and has really gotten worse in just the past month. So shortly after he announced he'd be making more content about spirituality, it quickly became apparent that he still was not okay. He didn't seem grounded at all. He seemed very manic. I'm crazy, but I'm okay. I'm crazy. And I freaking love it, baby! Let's go! It is incredible. You guys don't understand. I'm free from the self. I'm free from this restricted thought. This restricted psychological prison. And soon afterwards, he did a 40-day fast where he didn't eat any food at all for 40 entire days. And by the end of that, he was looking extremely, extremely frail, like he barely had any fat left to to burn. And he also live streamed the entire thing, apparently, so no one could say he cheated. And he also did a bunch of other stuff that, to me at least, just came off as him doing it purely for publicity and attention, exactly like he did in his fitness and picking up girls days on his old channel. But then, just in the past few months, he started taking ayahuasca regularly, and his delusions became even more grandiose, and this is where the whole situation really started escalating into just a flaming hot dumpster fire. So in the past few months, he claimed he predicted the bombing that happened in Nashville, Tennessee last Christmas. He started drinking his own urine, and apparently his own feces too, because he claimed it all had health benefits. He also claimed that he would use his newfound enlightenment to win the U.S. Open in golf, and then he actually started playing at golf courses while on ayahuasca. And I also heard from his Instagram that he began to consume ayahuasca every two hours, which is the absolute worst way you could ever use a substance. And if you look at his Instagram and his YouTube from just the past couple weeks, it's just evolved into absolute just just madness. He doesn't seem in touch with reality at all. And I don't make any of this to demonize Connor Murphy or to try and cancel him. That's not my intention at all. I really hope Connor Murphy gets help because he absolutely needs it. But my intention for making this video was to emphasize that, one, psychedelics do have their dangers when the wrong person uses them at the wrong time in the wrong circumstance. But I also want to clear up the reputation of psychedelics because right now Connor Murphy is giving them an absolutely horrible representation in the media. 
and a major aspect of my channel is to promote honest and open conversations about using psychedelics for healing and for personal and spiritual development because the potential of them is very, very promising and the science very much backs us up. So what's happening with a lot of Connor's audience, which is made up of millions of people, is they're seeing that the psychedelics are affecting him negatively and because they don't know a lot about them and view it as just another drug, they're instantly repulsed by it because they see this guy who they have known and loved for years acting insane on ayahuasca. And I, and I see this personally as a major setback for the psychedelic renaissance because if the benefits of psychedelics are ever going to be widely accepted by this world and they're going to become a viable aspect of mental health in the mainstream, a part of it is going to come through people sharing their own positive transformative stories and leading by example and Connor Murphy is doing the exact opposite of that. And also realize when I'm trying to educate about psychedelics on here, I'm not referring really to the recreational use of them. What I'm really interested in is about using them to dive deep into your own subconscious mind and to help heal yourself so you can live an improved, more fulfilling life. So that means being very responsible about your protocols and honest about your intentions for your trips. Not tripping just to have a cool experience or to escape from real life. No, you need to make sure you're in the right mindset, have a clear intention, and set up the correct environment beforehand in order to ensure that you have the highest chance possible to get the maximum benefit you can out of your experience. So I've never taken ayahuasca before, but when I do in the future, one day, I plan to do it at an actual retreat center with trained professionals who are watching over you and help guide you through the entire experience. That's how ayahuasca should be taken because it's no joke. It puts you completely out of touch with reality. It's most definitely not a recreational drug. It's way more powerful than, say, LSD and mushrooms. It's one of the most powerful psychedelics out there, and it needs to be respected as such, and Connor Murphy is clearly not doing that, which is part of the reason why his mental state has declined so much in the past year, and especially the past couple weeks. So psychedelics, especially the more powerful trips, can be so mind-blowing that it literally makes you have an existential crisis afterwards. And with this, you start rethinking your entire life and how you should live it. And it's very tough. You know, this is what happened to me. I know this is what happened to many others. And this seems to be what is happening to Connor Murphy when he first consumed ayahuasca a year ago. But when you're trying to integrate that into your life, the answer is not to take more psychedelics. The answer is to integrate to get your life in alignment with your newfound spiritual realizations as best as you can. And then when you feel ready, you can go trip again if you want to. Because the way I view it is that if your ego is still in a crisis-like state and you're not grounded, such as how Connor was, doing more psychedelics is only going to make the crisis more pronounced. And I also think it's very plausible that Connor had pre-existing mental health issues before he ever even took ayahuasca, which very well could have played a role in his downfall. So allow Connor Murphy to be an example of when psychedelics go wrong. Now it is an extreme example, I've never seen someone be affected this badly, but just take this as psychedelics at their worst. They have their dangers, and if you are not responsible with these substances, and you're not grounded beforehand, then there's a chance they can do more harm to you than good. This is very serious stuff. Psychedelics need to be respected and should not be taken lightly. But if you're new to my channel and don't know much about psychedelics, don't allow Connor Murphy's situation to cloud your view on them because there's thousands of people out there, such as myself, other fellow YouTubers, and the people who follow us who have had their lives absolutely changed for the better because of these substances, but we're only able to do that because we use them in a responsible manner. And the science is beginning to back this up as well. Like I mentioned earlier, in the past decade there has been countless studies on the benefits of psychedelics and mental health. Many experts are literally calling psychedelics the new frontier of mental health. And there's a book that I recommend that covers the benefits of psychedelics very in depth. It's called How to Change Your Mind, What the New Science of Psychedelics Teaches Us About Consciousness, Dying, Addiction, Depression, and Transcendence by Michael Pollan. And the title is called How to Change Your Mind because it's supposed to get the reader to change their mind about psychedelics because in society they've been demonized and misrepresented for so many decades when in actuality they can bring a lot of good to a person when used properly. So that's it for this video. Again, I am not demonizing Connor Murphy. I sincerely hope he gets the help he needs, and I hope his situation makes many of you take safety when it comes to psychedelics more seriously because they can have a very harmful effect on a person when the circumstances are not right. And as always guys, have a great day and peace.